Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking x 7 Again, for the first time today, first video, uh, there will be another video today um, on a, a pipe tracker review. So, anyway, this is part 5 of my uh, road to pipe smoking. Uh, the last part we talked about, um, what did we talk about? We talked about uh, me getting back into pipe smoking after cigarettes, so me becoming serious with the pipe, so that's what we talked about last time. This time we're going to talk about uh, English tobacco. Now prior to January 2010, I tried no English tobacco or no non-aromatic tobacco. So all I was smoking from April 2009 to January 2010 of pipe tobacco was aromatic uh, flavored tobacco. So a lot of different brands, Eureka, Amarok Number 7, 497, Cherry Cavendish, uh, Danish, Vanilla, Danish Vanilla Black Cavendish, uh, Captain Black, and yeah, so in January I had started my YouTube channel and I started to learn about the different kinds, I started to learn about the different kinds of tobacco, so I wanted to try English tobacco, so I went to my tobacconist in late January of 2010 and I asked him for uh, English blend, and they said, and they said, so you want something mild. So I tried uh, Deep Elm, which is a house blend at my local tobacco nest. Uh, Deep Elm, I have a review of it. I'll try to put the, li the link in the description to the review. Um, Deep Elm is a Cavendish Latakia blend. I think it has a Maryland in it. It's a pretty good blend. I haven't smoked it in a long time. Long, long time. It's kind of smoky, but very mild. A little bit of Latakia, just a pinch of Latakia. I think it, I think it actually says that on the, on the on the pouch. So just a pinch of Latakia. I really liked it. Very flavorful. No artificial taste. No additives. Just very nice. So then in February 2010, I tried my next English pipe tobacco, which was the Justice Justice mixture, Justice mixture, um, and that was a mistake. That has Latakia, Oriental, and Virginia, and that just blew me away <clears throat> in strength. Um, after smoking it the first time, I felt very, very lightheaded from smoking it. I'm not sure if I was smoking it too fast or whatever. That just blew me away in strength. So, I kind of moved away from the English tobaccos because I didn't like them. What I was doing mainly was trying a tobacco then for about a month and then trying our tobacco the next month. So I wasn't sticking to one brand. And to this day, and to this day, I don't stick to one brand. I know a lot of smokers uh, stick to one brand of cigarettes, cigars, pipes, uh, hookah, whatever. I never stick to, stick to one brand. I always rotate, rotate. So by March 2010, I, um, I kind of, um, I think I ordered um, some tobaccos off pipeandcigars.com because by then I was ordering online as of February, t February, t February 2010. So, Pipes and Cigars I found, and I tried the Odd Man Out sampler. Uh, you can watch my re reviews of that, like the peanut butter flavor pipe tobacco, the root beer, the frosty mint, all that kind of stuff. So, I won't put all the links in, this, in the description, it's just too much, work, too much work for me. But I will say that um, uh, those were some weird tobaccos, very weird tobaccos. Uh, pipe tobaccos. So then March 2010, I think I ordered um, the Dunhill Match, Dunhill 965. At that point, at that point in time, Dunhill was still out of the country as of 2008 to 2010. So I couldn't get the real Dunhill 965 or the real Dunhill early morning pipe, but I got the the match, the copy, the carbon copy of it. So from pipesandcigars.com, it was good. I don't know. It was pretty good. I, it's hard to rem, 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 it, it's hard to re remember because that was a long, t long time ago. So that's what it for my part five of my road to pipes. Part five. Uh, the next video we'll talk about me being a possible aromatic guy, aromatic guy. Because in the next video we're gonna talk about uh, me liking the aromatic pipe tobacco, specifically Captain Black. So. Anyway, next video will be, will be pretty brief, just to let you know. Pretty brief. But anyway, that's about it. Peace out, bye. See you, see you guys later, and 
Uh, there should be a pie tracker review tonight. Anyway, so bye. See you, see you guys later, and yeah, bye.